In this video, I'm going to show how to combine multiple series on one graph and actually to create a secondary axis as well to show data on the same graph that have very different scales. So what we have here is some data from one school, 6th through 12th grade. We have average daily attendance, maximum daily attendance, so this is the maximum over some uh, time period, and then the average number of tardy students per day. So these are the students on average that arrive late, again from 6th through 12th grade. So we're going to create a scatter plot, plot looking at the uh, different grades. And we're going to select our data. So click on the select data button and to add multiple series, we're going to use the add button in our select data source window. And our first one is going to be the average daily attendance. And we can, act, we can type that in, or a lot of times what I prefer to do is just to select the cell where we have the uh, information typed. For our X values, we're going to use the grade level. And our Y values, we're going to use the average daily attendance numbers. So those are our first, and we're going to add the second one, which is going to be the maximum daily attendance. For our x value, it's going to be the grade again. Our y value are going to be the actual numbers of students. And then our last series is our average number of tardy students per day. For the x value, we're going to use the grade, the y value, the number of students. We're going to click OK. And one thing we'll notice about this graph is that we have two series that are very close in values, and then our third, the number of tardy students, because the number is much lower, is at the very bottom of our Y scale. So one thing I, I do want to do is add axis titles. So on our X axis, we have the grade level. On our Y axis, we have the number of students and I would also like to add a legend. And usually I put the legend on my graph but this is something that's a basically a personal preference depends on how you want your your data to look. So you can either have it on your graph or separate from your your graph. Another thing we can do, we can adjust the x-axis. So if we get a format axis, we can actually go ahead and have the minimum on grade 6 and the maximum on grade 12, since that's the range of our data. And so that's how we put multiple series on one graph. And it, to me, it's very important that we have labels um, and access titles so that we can see what the, uh, we and we understand what data are presented in the graph. Another thing that sometimes is helpful is to add a secondary axis. So we see that since the number of tardy students are really at the bottom of our scale, we might add this on a secondary axis. And we can do that by clicking on Format Data Series and clicking Add that to the secondary axis. So now we're seeing the Tart number of tardy students shows up on our secondary y-axis. I would add the axis titles everywhere. Uh, to do that, it removed my other one. So we have grade level. And I would rename this first y-axis. This is just looking at the attendance levels. And our secondary one is looking at the number of tardy students. And sometimes it's helpful to, to put a label in your legend, alerting anyone who might be using your graph that your secondary axis contains your number of tardy students uh, shown here. So this is, again, how we use multiple series 
in a graph and how we can use a secondary axis to show a value with a very different range than other values but see them in the same kind of scale.